So as Chris mentioned, Chris, thank you very much for this opportunity to be the host in this very important event for HP. I am the managing director for uh, this region. What composed this region, it is 34 countries uh, spread out in the whole Caribbean. Probably when you, I don't know, try to figure out what is the Caribbean, you, you think in the beautiful islands, but uh, we are more, more than tourism. Um, we have five languages. It is English, Spanish, French, Dutch, and Papiamento uh, in those islands. Um, HP it is represented by more than 900 employees uh, across the region. And we have the privilege to have a very important site that is 80 miles from here. It is um, the uh, Aguadilla plant. I think tomorrow you will have the opportunity to visit the, the, the Aguadilla facilities. It is a very important uh, site for HP, not just at the Caribbean, worldwide, because we are doing a great job in terms of the research and development for uh, software and high-tech products. Our model in terms of the sales is uh, very impressive as well. It's totally indirect. We are using uh, channel partners. We represent overall in terms of the uh, revenues more than 600 million in, in the, in, across the region. In terms of the export that we are providing for HP worldwide, it is more than $11.5 billion in terms of the technology that we're exporting. Uh, an additional that, let me give you some examples about what is the Caribbean. The second largest uh, Afghan communities uh, it is in Trinidad and Tobago. Probably you didn't know it, but it is a very significant community in, in, in our region. Another important part, we have very strong uh, customers in banking, specifically in the north of the Caribbean, Bermuda, Cayman Islands, and the, the majority, they are making business with the European uh, markets. Okay? We have a lot of influence from Asia as well, and we receive a lot of, of foreign investment from Canada, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Malaysia, and London as well. Last but not least, we have people based in, the, in some of the islands, uh, but Puerto Rico is the headquarters for the Caribbean. Okay? Let me give you a couple of examples about why Puerto Rico is a key element in the, in the region. Probably few people know that the majority of the pharmaceuticals that are headquarters in the island. Uh, this is a very high-tech island, uh, a lot of investment that are coming to Puerto Rico. But uh, let me give you a couple of examples. Pfizer, Amgen, Wyatt, they are uh, the major headquarters that are based in Puerto Rico. You will have the chance to talk with the local government at the afternoon for trying to understand better why, why Puerto Rico is very strategic for many of the multinational companies based here, okay? It happened the same with the uh, uh, instrument companies. Some example of them, Johnson & Johnson, Novartis, and you, Medtronics. Uh, there are a lot of examples why they are using Puerto Rico as a base instead of to have it in the mainland. Uh, probably it is interesting to know that the major reason those companies, as HP, we are based here, it is the talent. We have a high education people, specifically with the public university. The second part it is the tax incentive that we already have in, in place in this island. Bottom line, we're a rich island. <laughs> okay, let me give you what is HP in the other side, in the west side. Uh, as I told you before, we have a very interesting operation in the manufacturing area. Uh, all the high-tech uh, products, I'm talking about business critical uh, servers, um, storage, uh, security, uh, they are manufactured in this plant. During the 80s, we were doing a really good homework in terms to pursue different initiatives around technology. We were working very close with the labs, HP labs, in India for trying to learn the new technologies. One of them it is the security, the software. The majority of the software rep, uh, production worldwide for HP that are based in, uh, in, uh, in Aguadilla. Last but not least, uh, recently in the last 10 years, uh, we were investing a lot in research and development. When HP is buying a new company, the majority of those technologies that are coming to Puerto Rico for trying to replicate it in the worldwide uh, environment. Okay. Any question or comment, please uh, bring it up.
As I told you before, we have a very strong presence in the Caribbean. The majority of the customers during the last years uh, give us the opportunity to work with them in consolidation. Let me give you some figures. Uh, in terms of the servers, we have more than 70% of the market share. In terms of the storage, we have more than 40% of the market share. So it's a very strong presence. When I'm when we, we have a very strong presence, what is happening? The customers that are at the beginning very concerned about the consolidation. The second part was coming in terms of the virtualization. When I said that, uh, HP recognized that we have a huge opportunity in terms of the different cloud system that we can provide them, all right? The cloud system that we already, we are working in at the Caribbean, it is more in the traditional area. So is more infrastructure, but we are moving to private cloud. The growth is very rapid compared to other regions. Let me give you a, a couple of examples. The, uh, the public sector, the banking, they are very concerned to have more private cloud, but they are moving as well to the public cloud as well. During the rest of the day, we will talk more in detail what is happening around this. But bottom line, at the uh, Caribbean region, we are growing faster than other markets. Okay. What is the trend? Uh, the trend that we are seeing it is uh, in the next years, the public cloud it is the, the, the most important goal for many of the customers. Now, as I told you before, 90% uh, of our customers that are moving between traditional and private cloud, okay? The reminder, we are seeing they are moving to in-house or outsource. So, we have very important customers in the pharmaceutical, medical, and banking as well. Uh, public sector is one of the major as well that it, they are pursuing the, the public cloud. There are no magic. They want to drop the cost, and they want to be more efficient in front of the customers. Questions? I would like to share with you a couple of stories. What are HP doing in terms of the cloud? This is a... Uh, as I told you before, you will have the chance to have the, the interaction with the local government. It is the Department of Justice. Uh, they are working in a very criminal record. What means that? They have different agencies. When they have, uh, I don't know, the police on the streets, they have a computer, and they have all the information concentrated in that computer for trying to access the criminal record of those uh, citizens. It is a, an important project that we just started the last year, but now this is a, a very significant improvement because now they are replicating this project for the rest of the agencies. Uh, they are working very close with the drug department. They are working very close with the IRS. So it is a, a one piece of example, one mean cloud for the local government. Another two examples that we, I can share with you, it is the Panamanian government. The Panamanian government, they are very interested to access information to the foreign, com foreign companies for trying to settle in Panama. If you access the, the Panamanian portal, you can get a lot of information that is in the cloud. When I say cloud, the, the major advantage for HP is because we have an, a hybrid uh, solution. It is a mix between the uh, private cloud with a public cloud. Okay, we will talk more in detail during the next two days, but this is the major advantage that we're offering as an HP solution, okay. Uh, guys, I don't have a lot of information uh, now, but uh, uh, thank you again for this opportunity to, to host you in, in Puerto Rico. Uh, anything that you consider that we can provide you for having more idea why Puerto Rico is a very strategic island for the local government, for HP, uh, more than welcome. And I really appreciate that you enjoy a couple of days here in, in the island. Um, anything that you consider uh, to know more in detail, let me know. Questions, comments? Chris, go ahead. Now I want to ask you questions. So but I, I would like to ask. I'll break the ice. <laughs> okay. So I had the opportunity of speaking with Martin yesterday. There was, was one fact that he, he presented that I thought was very interesting. And that was that came to Puerto Rico, but there was some reasons for it. And, and one, of the, one of the things that Martin pointed out yesterday was that this infrastructure, it's almost there's a leapfrog activity every now and again. So we get, so my question is, based on the US and based on what you see down here, tell me a little bit more about this leapfrogging activity that's happening here, which is advancing cloud further yeah. than we're experiencing in the US. Yeah, good question. Uh, 
Probably when you, you are seeing the Caribbean, uh, uh, I told you before, we have a lot of influence from Europe and Asia compared to the US, okay? So those customers, they are not afraid to move or to jump to the next step in terms of the technology compared to the US, okay? A big company, technically, they are more concerned about the movements in terms to jump in new technology because they consider that new technology is bleeding technology. All right? So many, many big companies that are afraid about the cloud. In our case, uh, it, it, it didn't happen. Uh, our customers, they were working very close in terms to get technology with a competitive price and very sustainable solution in the line of time. So as I told you before, uh, consolidation, virtualization, it was a main foundation for us in terms to jump up to the cloud solution, okay? Um, the majority of the customers, they have the hardware portion and they put the software and the manageability around the infrastructure for trying to move faster to the, to the cloud. Let me give you more specific examples. When we talk about public cloud, it is a very ambitious project, but now we can have public, ser public uh, cloud services using private cloud solutions. So uh, many of those customers, they have access to, access to public clouds uh, from Puerto Rico or from the Caribbean, but they are not uh, losing the private uh, infrastructure that they already have in, in, in their facilities. So this is the, the reason this, uh, this region is growing faster than the rest of the regions, at least in, at HP. Let me give you figures. HP, I think this month is uh, uh, achieving more than 1,000 uh, uh, cloud solutions uh, around the world. We have probably uh, 200 at the region, okay? Because they are small, but it's very sizable for trying to move faster to the next step. This is one of the examples. And the second, believe it or not, uh, Europe or Asia, they are more aggressive in terms to adapt the new technologies. Go ahead. Thank you for having me here today. My name is Omar Sanchez. I'm a local blogger. Um, and um, I have a question. You mentioned uh, all the sector as far as government. Uh -huh. And um, what is HP doing? I see that uh, HP has a very big um, opportunity for expanding business more than the end user products or production line. That HP have a very concentrated um, <clears throat> ideal for uh, uh, as, as far as servers and, and all this infrastructure. As far as uh, storage, which is one of the, our main issues in Puerto Rico, uh, including the government, yeah. are, are you guys working with the government to provide them remote storage somewhere else and, and having this? huge buildings that we have right now with all these HP servers and Play servers, you know, take them away and put them in the cloud? Yeah, yeah the, uh, terrific question. Uh, I would like to answer in, in, in two very important elements. One of them is the main purpose of the government, it is a, a service provider for the citizens, right? Uh, this is the main goal. They need to work in that content. HP, our code it is the technology. So, couple couple of comments I for, probably I forgot to mention here. Just give me a, sec a second. In Aguadilla, we have, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get the, the charge. Yeah. Uh, in Aguadilla, uh, we're providing different type of services, not just for the uh, local government, overall for the governments in the region, okay? We're hosting companies uh, from Panama, from Costa Rica, uh, from Mexico, that they are uh, uh, putting operation at the Caribbean, and we count on a couple of sites, uh, uh, data centers that we're providing, N not just uh, storage, it is overall, the infrastructure and the manage uh, manageability resources, uh, people as well, for trying to provide this type of services, okay? Now, uh, many of the governments are across the region, they are very concerned to have the, uh, business continuity services in other places. Uh, we're working very close with the Dominican Republic, 
Puerto Rico. Uh, San Martin government is one of the m major customer for us and the USB islands. Yeah, but it, it's true. HP is not just providing the hardware, it is providing the, the whole solution, uh, including the, the business continuity, okay? Uh, if for any reason we have the, the need for trying to move out of the island, we have facilities in Atlanta or in other uh, states in the United States. Do you have an example of how much a company in Puerto Rico will save using sand servers from HP? Perfect. Yeah, let me give you a couple of uh, examples. In, in our, uh, uh, some governments that I would uh, drop the cost in terms to move out the, this uh, infrastructure out of the, their facilities, around 40%. When I say 40%, there are a lot of uh, um, hiding costs that, uh, in, in that figure. Electricity is one of them. People for managing all the resources. Uh, and the most important thing it is to have available the system for providing the, the, the services for the citizens. But uh, yeah, w we have some assessment that we can provide you in terms of our experience for trying to give you some idea in terms of the type of uh, uh, cost reduction that we can provide you. Another important point that I forgot to mention, these are people that you will meet tomorrow. They're creating a new technology in terms of the uh, cost reduction of energy. Uh, uh, probably it was in the 90s, uh, we were working very close with the labs in, uh, in, uh, in India, and we developed some technologies for trying to reduce all the energy around the data center. It is an intellectual property for HP Puerto Rico. This is not good, but we have, for, we have more patents than the local uh, university in, in the island. The, the talent that we have in Aguadilla is, is, a, is a very impressive. Okay, so we can share this type of products that are uh, intellectual property of HP. It is not magic. There is uh, some specific uh, methodologies and new technologies that we can put in the data center for trying to optimize the air conditioning in the, in the, in the data center. Okay, here, here. Go ahead. Thank you. You are waking up. The coffee Thank is good. <laughs> I I just want uh, to know how secure is the cloud because we know all the wars that are between clouds and you know Perfect. countries and hackers trying to get information. So how secure is Love the it. HP cloud? Okay. Probably this is a, when you think about HP. Probably it is coming to your mind about hardware, PCs, printers, and all this stuff. Let me give you something. The majority of the business, in terms of the corporation and the profit, that, are, that is coming from the enterprise products, software, and services, okay? In the last year, HP was investing a lot of uh, money in terms to buy many software companies. Okay. Some of them, there is a Fortify, Vertica, Tipping Point, and many of them, okay? Those technology, you will have the chance to see it tomorrow. Those technology that are um, manufacturing and, uh, and produced here in Aguadilla. So we have not just the product, we have the software, okay, that is managing all the security in terms of the um, uh, most important part uh, of the strategy for those companies when they are moving to cloud. Examples, the, the federal government, uh, uh, the China government as well. When, have you been in China, some of them? Okay, when you arrive to China, it is not easy to be a blogger, okay? You have a lot of restriction for access different networks. So this type of software that is uh, uh, protecting the Chinese network, it is HP, okay? So we are not just playing in the hardware, we are playing in the software as well, and we have a very robust uh, success stories around the, the, the security. Yeah. Question. <laughs> Perfect question. Uh, probably this question is for my, my, my colleagues in, in Aguadilla when you, you be there, but uh, uh, let me give you examples. Um, we live in the Caribbean. Technically, we have the, the, the possibility of hurricanes, you know? 
When I told you that we are exporting from this plant to the rest of the world $11.5 billion, do you can imagine how much costs a downtime, no plant? A lot of money. So we have a different type of uh, telecommunication redundancy here. This is a satellite, uh, we have different networks, and we have different providers for that. But uh, uh, the cost of these sites just for HP represents $500 million in investment uh, here. The telecommunication part, it is just represents $200 million. So you can imagine the state of the art that we have there. Okay? This is a, an example. Any other question? Okay, perfect. The, the last slide where you're showing. Um, Could you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Yeah. Can you move forward to the last slide? The Department of Justice? The last, very last one. Okay, yeah. Where, I'll stop right there. You see, down there at the competition, you are considering IBM yeah. and EMC, and I don't see Cisco, and you mentioned China. And um, how do you see this region compared with the Tricom takeover? And uh, how, are you, how are you placing your servers against the Cisco infrastructure? As far as the Caribbean, do you see more competition here than in the States? Are the companies here investing on telecommunication and, and switches Perfect. for Cisco using HP? Or they are going straight for <laughs> HP? <laughs> No, I love, love your, your question. Uh, okay, probably l let me to divide my, correctly my, my answer. Um, HP has a, a whole portfolio that we compete in different areas. When you are seeing the major competitors in this region, there are niches, okay? Um, four years ago, we bought uh, Tricom. Now we have an offer very strong in terms of the networking. Uh, probably the major advantage, I, I would like to answer in terms of the Cisco, the major advantage that we have against Cisco is a couple of things. Number one, our products has in the majority, I'm talking about the 70, 80%, they have a, a life guarantee, uh, um, life, life warranty compared to Cisco. Okay. This is a very, very robust um, offer compared to Cisco in the number one. The second is 40% cheaper than Cisco and very reliable, okay? You know something, uh, HP really believes in the open systems. This is the major difference, okay? Technology is like the music. You can be uh, in a jail, okay, with a, just one vendor. If you can move your data from one side to another in an open standards, you, ha you have a value. This is the major value that we offer to our customers, okay? They can combine different environments using the cloud systems for trying to move from the traditional infrastructure to the uh, private or public or hybrid cloud solutions. Uh, trying to be more aggressive in terms of the uh, competition, I can tell you another example, EMC. How much sell EMC worldwide? Can you give me a number? Twenty billions. How much we export from the Puerto Rico? Eleven point five. We have this size. So, do you can imagine the the pressure that we have as a company when we sell in the Caribbean? Everything that we touch needs to be a reference because we are a small island. We need to be good citizens. And the second part that we are putting in this region is not just the brand. People that are behind the brand, they are the Caribbean team. So this is another major advantage that we have. IBM, Cisco, EMC, they don't have presence in those islands. So it is the reason HP probably, we really believe in, the, in, in our roots. It is uh, to provide the best product, the best price, but the, but the best uh, uh, service as well. Because the service is the pre-sales for the next sales, okay? Last but not least, I told you before, 90% of our sales that are indirect. Our channels 
the, the third parties that are around HP that are extremely important as well. Okay? Bottom line, this is the whole portfolio. We have a strong presence in the Caribbean, and our solution is open compared to our the major competitors. So, HP is, is, a, is, is a for a long time. This is not just for the short term. We really believe, as a head of this uh, uh, operation at the Caribbean, my major goal with my team it is everything that you touch, it doesn't matter if the customer is big, medium, or small, needs to be a reference. If you don't, guy, you're accountable of that. This is the most important thing. Did I hear you right? You're exporting 11 and a half billion from Puerto Rico? Do you're yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. But uh, as I told you before, the majority of these exports that are in the enterprise uh, business is not in the, in the consumer or in the uh, uh, PC market. So guys, I'm very proud uh, to having you here as a host. Enjoy your stay in uh, Puerto Rico. I'm very impressed, it's the first time that I I talk with bloggers, so um, a lot of devices um, make me feel shy. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Chris, for the opportunity. Thanks, Martin. Pleasure.